dirty laundry story. And she told us about how she literally left her dirty panties on the couch when company came over. I left some dirty panties in the living room <laughs> before when, having company. When was this? Uh, just last week. Okay, so you have a literal dirty laundry story. Yep, I do. Five of us were staying in the dorms and one night is like the third night we were here. We all decided to explore and, you know, see what the dorms were like. The really old dorms here, Kurt and Drummond. And uh, we found like different types of like video game systems and TVs and microwaves and all this stuff. And we were seeing what worked and what didn't. Well, one of the kids decided to be a smart idea after the microwave started to stick a remote in it and then shut it and start it up again. So we leave and we're, you know, going up and down the elevator on the floors and we come back and the elevator doors open and you can't see anything. It was just smoke. And we were like, what happened? And the kid's like, I might have put a remote in the microwave. And we were like, what? And we ran back into the like common room and the microwave's on fire. And so we like unplug it and then we we're trying to like put it out with this kid's Dr. Pepper. And the next hmm. like hour, we just kind of sat there like, we do. What do we do now? Yeah. Smoke detectors yeah. didn't go off. Okay. Sprinklers didn't go off. Like there was Which no. Which is a little disturbing. Yeah. yeah. And we're all scared because none of us have been accepted into OSU yet. Okay. And we're like, uh, this is it. This, they're never going to let us back on campus. Right. They got us, they got us all gathered in the room and we're like, you know, giving us the what for and. They just wanted to scare some kids. That's, uh, that's exactly they're what like, they're they doing. But they did a good it. job. They did it. I mean, it was like scared straight. I was going you know, in that, that program yes. where the, 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 the convicts just yell at kids for a while. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's what happened. What were, I felt it was. Make sure you're watching other people when you're goofing off and don't put remotes in microwaves. So goof off um, responsibly. Responsibly, yes. Because I like this guy's hair. Thank you, man. Hell so yeah. He's a good I, yo, guy. I knew it would come in handy somewhere. Hell yeah. <laughs> doing it big. Thank you, man. One Thank side. Doing it big. He's got double and long in the back. We're, so Are we're. You All right. So what did you do? Or, we got it. Going Tell on. me what you yeah. do. We're good. I'm blackout drunk and throwing up in the toilet. So she walks in upstairs, telling me, "Hey, Jared, scoot over." So I scoot over while all my puke is in the toilet. I start throwing up in the bathtub. She starts peeing on top of my puke. Go back to the room with my chick. Start making out without brushing my teeth. Brushing his teeth. <laughs> it's a terrible story. I feel bad for the chick now. But at the point in time, <laughs> drunk Jared, it made sense. All right, so we made it. We're at the skate park in Oklahoma City. And uh, we're gonna see what's good. either forfeit the game or give some of our players to the other team. Really? And it was like a smaller school, so like we knew we were gonna win the game anyways, but we still wanted to play. And so um, we decided, you know, give some of the, our players to them. And I ended up, I was a goalkeeper. And you know, you, you play 100%. And uh, You don't play to lose? I don't, pl I don't play to lose. <laughs> well, can we pause it real quick? That seems like an awkward conversation to have with some of your teammates. It's like, all right, um, you can play for the other team. Yeah. Like, I love you, but go over there. We had a girl on our team. Her name is Nikki, but we would call her Nike. She was like the most athletic girl. She was Let's like, okay. she's like ten foot tall in middle school. Like, so Amazon. Woman. Yeah, and uh, she's really excellent player forward. And she was coming at me with like everything she had. And instead of like trying to defend, I just like went at her. And. Uh, like I, her, her person, not like the ball. Not the ball. I went oh, the you ball. went at the ball. Okay. But I, you're, I mean, you're obviously, after. Yeah. You're sticking to it. You went uh, the ball. Okay. Okay. And uh, so I tackled the ball, but she was like going into slide kick yeah. it, and she ended up kicking me in the mouth. My mouth was bleeding the rest of the game, and my coach was like, "Do you need out?" I was like, "Not." Nah. And too I much, just like water. Too much pride and I was to go like, out, right? Yeah. Too much pride. So they're both kind of about pride in a, in a, in a kind of interesting way. She wasn't gonna score. She like, was not. Did she score? No. You just didn't. had to. I got that ball. Almost losing two. Yeah. That's all. In years of braces. Yeah. So was it worth it? Yes. Totally worth it. All right. We got a good story I like out it. Of it. She's a competitor. I love it. <laughs>